Billy's is actually named after Josephine Baker and Billie Holiday, two women who were persecuted for their cannabis consumption, and yet they used their art to fight against injustice, they rejected the mainstream, and they wrote their own rules, all while holding the door open for other women who would come after. And for us, that is goals AF. And, and that's the sort of vibe that we're trying to build with this dispensary. And, and it's actually not just a dispensary, it's a tea house, it's a tea pad. Now, back in the 20s and 30s, people of color weren't allowed in speakeasies. Um, and so we had to build our own spaces. And those places were called tea pads. That's where people of color would come together and we would drink and, and consume cannabis and we would talk art and listen to jazz and, and talk about, uh, you know, the, the um, political activism and the things of the time. And that's the type of vibe and community that we're trying to bring together uh, with Josephine and Billy's. And for us, education is everything. It's education first. Um, and so when you come into this dispensary, what we're trying to do is to make sure that you leave having something in your hand that you have a very clear idea how that plant is going to make you feel. Um, so, yes, we're going to push you to, to understand that, you know, sativa and indica are not a great indicator of how a plant's going to make you feel. Yes, we're going to explain to you what uh, terpenes are, and we're going to have a store that's designated by terpene profiles and not by sativa and indica. And yes, we're going to have signs up that tell you how to read a cannabis um, label so you have this understanding. And yes, every product under there is going to have a dedicated Josephine and Billy's label underneath it that's talk to you about um, potency. And potency is not just THC percentage because at the end of the day, do you go and choose your alcohol by, you know, alcohol percentage? You don't just sit around and drink moonshine because it has the highest percentage of alcohol. Thus, you should not choose your um, THC or your cannabis products just by the highest THC content. These are the things that we want to be able to talk to our cannabis consumers about. And we really believe that women of color, our target audience, deserve this information more than anybody. One of those reasons why is because women of color are the demographic that is known to deal with the most stress, most anxiety. You know, women are known to be more anxious than, than men, and black women are known to be more anxious than white women. And we're seeing this in the news more and more every day. We see Shakari Richardson, we see um, Naomi, we see Simone, and we're not talking about this enough in our community. And we want to be a place where people can come and talk about those anxieties, talk about those stress, talk about the things that are going on in health, and be able to make those connections to the way that we consume this plant medicine. So please, come to the dispensary. Feel free to have those conversations with us, and let's build community together. Thank you.